Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to learn about motion layout. So, what is motion layout? Motion layout is a subclass of constant layout. We can create animations and complex animations with it. It has backward compatibility to API 14. I don't know if we are using lower than that. And it has live rendering preview. So, well, that's all about it. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification of more upcoming videos. So first we will open the motion layout documentation and in here you will find the library. If you are using Android X, use this library and if you are using support libraries, so use this library I am using Android X so I will copy the first one and you already see that my Android Studio is upgraded to newer version I recommend you to upgrade your Android Studio at least 4.0 so you can use the motion editor with it now go here in your build.gradle file and paste the dependency and change the beta 1 to 3 because with the motion editor the beta 1 library is not supporting at this time the video is recording this library is on the beta version but in upcoming time it could be in the stable release now we can sync our project make sure you have internet connection now we can close this file and go to our documentation again after the syncing now you can change your constant layout syntax to motion layout syntax now in our project we have a constant layout here now let's go to the design tab in the upper right corner We can delete this text view here. And right click on this constraint layout. And choose the option convert to motion layout. It says you need to generate a motion scene file. I will explain what is motion scene file in a few moments. Now click convert. and it will change the constant layout to motion layout and bring up this motion editor here now if we look at the code here the constant layout syntax is changed to the motion layout syntax and we have a new line of code here app layout description and it is point to an xml file and this is the motion scene file you will find this file under the res xml directory this is the motion scene file it contains all the animations transitions and keyframes that happens in the motion layout Now, I will drag a button in the layout. I will give the constants to the top and the left. And also give little bit of margin of 8 dp. 
now we want to animate our button to the left side to right side to do that click on this end panel and select the button give the right constraint and remove the left constraint so the button will be go to the right corner now click on this transition line over here and we have two type of handlers on click and on swipe we want to click this button so check on this on click click on this plus sign and give target id the id would be the button id that we want to animate and we can also specify the target action we have bunch of different options here for this example i'll use toggle now if you go to your motion scene file you will see some changes has happened and here in the motion duration you can also increase or decrease it and this is the on click handler that we have given the target id and the constant set and now if you click this play button you will see the how the button will be animate when the click is happened and now let's run our app to see how it's work you can see the app is working fine when we click the button the button will go to the right corner and when we click it again it's go back to the left corner again now that's a simple overview of motion layout in upcoming parts we'll learn keyframe on swipe handlers and interpolators soon for that thank you guys for watching this video and if it is helpful please leave a like